Well, there's been uncertainty in the area of anticoagulations and valvular heart disease of what type of antithrombotic regimen is necessary for patients with various types of valvular heart disease. And now with the introduction of the non-vitamin K oral anticoagulants in the last six, seven years, uh, there's been this open question of, is it safe to use these newer agents in patients with valvular heart disease? So we thought, since we had conducted a very large study, over 21,000 patients with atrial fibrillation, we thought we should look at those patients who had valvular heart disease. We were a substantial proportion of the population, about 13% of the patients had valvular heart disease. This analysis we use patients with valvular heart disease and uh, uh, these patients uh, were defined as, uh, um, in, as uh, patients with a history of uh, valvular heart disease or uh, an echocardiographic evidence of uh, valvular heart disease including at least moderate mitral regurgitation or aortic regurgitation or aortic stenosis and uh, prior valve surgery, including uh, valve prosthetic valve or valve repair on valve uloblasty. Um, these, these groups of patients were divided uh, in uh, three groups of treatment, uh, warfarin, high-dose edoxaban, and low-dose edoxaban, as in the main trial. But for this analysis, we uh, used only patients <coughs> with uh, high dose edoxaban, which is uh, the regimen uh, for atrial fibrillation patients. Our primary results um, were that uh, uh, there was no interaction uh, of treatment with valvular heart disease status in these patients. And uh, it means that uh, Edoxaban uh, efficacy and safety uh, is uh, the same for this subgroup compared with warfarin uh, that in the overall population of the main trial. So edoxaban is one of the non-vitamin K oral anticoagulants. It targets factor 10A uh, and it's a specific inhibitor of that uh, protein. And so in many ways, its mechanism of action is uh, similar, if not identical, to a pixaban and a rivaroxaban. It's the fourth of the newer anticoagulants to be introduced into practice. It's now approved for use in the United States, in Europe, and several uh, Asian countries as well. Um, by virtue of having just been recently uh, released on the market, uh, it has uh, a small market share, but growing. Um, and we expect, based on the main trial findings and also other important, I think we've published uh, 16 or 18 papers related to this trial already, and Dr. Rendas will be in the mix as well soon, uh, we expect that its use will increase. Uh, this is a um, very important uh, issue because uh, um, Patients with valvular heart disease, uh, uh, with the exception of uh, mitral uh, stenosis and uh, uh, mechanical biprosthetic valves, uh, could be treated uh, with uh, novel oral anticoagulants uh, with uh, uh, an uh, efficacy and safety uh, similar to the overall population of the uh, trial compared this drug with warfarin.